Alright guys, many of you have asked me to do a video on replacing instrument cluster bulbs. So what I'm going to do in a real short video is just give you a basic rundown of how to test and replace instrument cluster bulbs. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is pull the glass off the instrument cluster and then mark all the gauges and get them all lined up and uh, remove all the needles to replace the bulbs. So now I've got the needles all uh, lined up here to where they stop. Now, you don't want to mark them like here or here. If you notice, you can push this until it stops. Now, this stepper motor here is bad, and I'm also going to, going to be replacing that stepper motor there. But basically, you push it down until it stops. You can tell that's the stopping point. So that's where the needle starts. Make sure that you put the needle at that spot and get them all at their starting point. Get you a marker, a Sharpie, and mark where these needles are pointing. Now that you've got them pointed at the right direction here, you can take and move them however. And then you can use a fork, or what I like to use is this little panel uh, popper here to lift up underneath the needle and remove them. All right guys, take the panel popper and just kind of quickly pull up on them. Um, if you kind of pry slowly, sometimes you have a tendency to accidentally break these. But if you just kind of pop up on them fairly quick, they come off a lot easier. Now go ahead and remove the rear cover. All right guys, so now what I'm going to do is replace each one of the stepper motors. If you want instructions or a video on how to replace those stepper motors, make sure you check out my other video because I'm going to go ahead and replace these stepper motors and then replace the bulbs. All right guys, I've got all the stepper motors replaced. Now I want to show you guys how to test the bulbs. So basically to do this, you take a nine volt battery with a couple wires soldered onto the end of it and you can go through and just touch the little ends of the bulb here and you can see it's lighting up the bulbs and there's a few that are out. So each bulb that's out, we're, we're going to go through and just replace each one. Now some of these, like this is the turn signal bulb, they're not going to be connected to the parking lights. So you can test these individually. Let's go through and hook each side. But these bulbs here, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and these four are all connected on one circuit, so when you turn the headlights on, it should turn each one of these bulbs on here to light up the cluster. And as you can see, if we put power to it, we're only getting, let's see, one, two, three, four bulbs lighting up. So we've actually got one, two, three, four, five bulbs that are out. All right, guys, so I've gone through and marked. You can see this little black mark. I've marked each bulb that needs to be replaced. So what you do is just basically take the bulb and snap it out of its little uh, solder connections there. So there's a little bit of solder there, a little bit of solder there. Basically just undo these things. Go through and remove all the ones that you're going to replace. Now what you do is you take these little bulbs here and you pull them out of the little blue socket that they're in. You just gotta bend the little wires that are there and remove each one of the bulbs from the blue sockets. Then take your new bulbs and uh, bend the wires back like that and push it into the blue connector. Okay, so you can see I've got the bulb inserted into the little bulb socket and uh, what I'm going to do is just wrap these little wires around the, the bulb socket there. Okay, you can see I've got the bulb just inserted into this little blue socket what you've got to do is wrap the little wires around the bottom of the uh, bulb socket and then trim the little wires down. Basically just trim it down to where you can wrap the wire down below the bulb socket and then you'll solder them, re-solder them to the circuit board. Okay, so that's what the bulb should look like once you have it inserted into the socket and you've trimmed the two little wires down. So basically what you do is you've got these little solder connections, what you're going to do is add some solder to there, and add some solder to there, and then you just push the bulb down onto the solder while the solder's hot, 
and that secures the bulbs and makes the connection. All right guys, so now take the new bulb and put it onto the two little solder uh, joints that you've added solder to. So basically you just kind of put the bulb on there with a little wire connection and heat up that solder underneath the bulb socket. And you do this on both sides and while you're doing that, you kind of push the bulb down. Hold it down there and let the solder cure and now you've made the connection there. Now it's a good idea to grab your 9 volt battery and just double check that all your bulbs are working. Okay, yep, yeah, see now we've got all bulbs lighting up. And then double check your turn signal bulbs again. All the bulbs have been replaced, everything's good to go. All right guys, so in addition to a 9 volt battery like this one here, you can also check the bulbs using a 12 volt power supply or a power probe. You can see I've got this little 12 volt power supply over there. Uh, this allows me to be able to test this um, and give you the proper brightness of all the bulbs because we're supplying 12 volts to the bulbs now and that's what the car's electricity system supplies these normally. You can see it's a lot brighter than a 9 volt battery. But not everyone has a 12 volt power supply laying around, so to easily check the bulbs, you can do it with one of these 9 volt batteries. All right guys, so now it's time to reinstall the needles. And basically you just take the needle here and push it onto the stepper motor. And then you can kind of push this back and forth until it stops on your marking point. You can see I'm pushing this kind of back and forth. And a lot of times you have to push the needle back this way in order to get it lined up. Sometimes you gotta go the other way. Make sure you've got it lined up correctly and install each one of the needles. Now go ahead and remove the tape. Line the needles all back up to the starting point. And then go ahead and reinstall the glass cover plate. Okay, now it's all good, ready to go. It's got all the new stepper motors installed inside the cluster and replaced all the bulbs.